Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Allbound. If you watched the last episode, we did hit a million coin in the bank and there are a few things that I need to pick up to be able to do the next upgrade. Let's have a look. I don't have a full stack of this yet. The turbo filters is one of the items and I think the ruby gems, they, they were ready. So I'm going to head downstairs and see if those are done yet. But there's a few things that I need to do in this episode. I need to restock my boxes, my little storage boxes with crafting items because they're running a little low. Uh, so that means I have to switch things off and stop making money just for a little while. Um, it's not it's not crazy important that I carry on immediately. There was an update uh, which I believe addressed some issues and also darkened the caves. Oh my word. It darkened them a lot. So I'll put some lighting in here. Wow. Yeah, that, that is much darker than it was. Okay, as we go down. Okay, yeah, there were some performance improvements as well. So we'll see if the game is still as laggy when I get down here. Uh, it doesn't look that way. That seems pretty good now. Definitely good improvements. All right, uh, I'm going to have to put lights all over because this is really dark now. I suppose that'll do for now. Let's see, how are we doing over here? We have 80 ruby gems. Okay, I need 100, so I'm going to leave that to run. But there's quite a bit to get into in this episode, so let's get stuck in. So I'm still gathering money and uh, there's a couple of things that need to be unlocked. Let me put that away and we'll head over to the research. Right, Dwarven Vaults. I think I have everything here unlocked. Yes, I do. Okay, crafting. Upgrade station level three already unlocked. Navigator. Silver and gold collection are done. Uh, gems, gemstone detection. I need to unlock that. So that's 30,000. Good. Farming. Oh man, I still need to do this ale farming thing. Kind of keep forgetting about it, but it's 3,000, so let's do that, and then we might as well get Potion Brewing as well. Uh, the money's going to build back up, that's fine. Base building, uh, there's 10,000 needed for this hollow plaque, I'm not in a hurry. Explosives, the mountain vaporizer, I'm not ready for. All done on transport, and then defense, there's a whole bunch of things that need to be done. I'm not sure, I haven't visited this guy for a while, so let's see if there's anything here that I can unlock. This needs potions, five of each, mana, stamina, and health. Yeah, I don't quite have enough of those in my box, so we'll get there. Um, I can actually complete this one because I have used 126 explosives, so let's get that. It's a thousand coin in the pocket. Steamy factories. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Okay, I do need to get more stuff. Yeah, I, I need to kind of concentrate on these. I haven't really been... There's an Electrum ingot, and I found out where it is. Combat... Um, yeah, I'm still a way off. I don't have the large orc skulls. Got lots of normal orc skulls. And then the dwarven construction. I haven't built any of the decorative stone pieces yet. So those are out of the question. So if we just head over to this machine, the combinator over here that's making stuff for us. Let's see how we're doing here. 100. There we go. We got what we need. That's that. So I can, I can basically switch this. Actually, you know, I'm not going to switch it off. Filters and golden rods are coming in here. So what else uses filters and golden rods? Just that. That can carry on producing. That's going to make some money. But if we go in here, there's the Electrum smelting. And that needs one silver ingot and one gold ingot. And it's made in the combinator. So I'm going to probably need to do something with that. And I may do that downstairs. Because we need some of those Electrum ingots. So the only thing I'm waiting for now is the ruby gems. Yeah, it's definitely much darker than it used to be. So I did I did put a couple of lights down this little tunnel. Not down the next tunnel, but that's okay. And we've got the 100 ruby gems. Good. While I'm down here, let's have a look at this navigator and see if I can find a location for the emerald. Because that's the one I don't have yet. It is the correct one, right? Emerald or emerald deposit. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So there's one in that direction that appears to be the closest. And it looks like someone's already started building a hole in the wall. It wasn't me, by the way. All right, let me, let me hack through here and see if I can find it quickly. If not, well, then we'll come back for it. All right, so I know this area. I've been here. Oh, it's, it is much darker than it used to be. Let me get myself a torch. There's no one here to fight with. More stuff down over here. All right, navigator. Okay, so we are needing to go this way. All right, well, I'm, I'm, I feel pretty confident to use explosives in here. I'm far enough away from my own stuff, I think, I hope. As long as I have the goodies on me to do it, I will. Let's see, what do we need? 
Do we have everything? We do. I'm going to put this right in there and I'll go stand over here. I think this is far enough away. Plunger down. Connect plunger to there and blow up. All right, what have we found? We haven't. Well, looks like it might be further away than I thought. It is through here, so... Hey, you know what? This is ridiculous. I'm going to go and upgrade my navigator and see if that helps at all. And I may need a little bit of sapphire for that, so I'll take that. That's filled me up. Oh, well done to the devs. The performance is much better. It's not as laggy as it was. I am pretty chuffed about that. At least it shows that the devs care and they are doing a good job. So let's just have a quick look at what we need. A reminder to myself. Okay, so we need... 20 gold gears and 20 silver rods. Good, that's it. All right, so there's golden gears. And I, th I think the other one was silver rods. All right, let's see. Can we do this? We oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I do need to collect more. We need, we actually need 10 of those. I don't have enough inventory space anyway. I need to offload some stuff. But uh, that means I need 200 silver rods and 200 gold gears. Right, it's time to implement that plan. I have... I have money. I have everything that I need to do this upgrade. So factory and manufacturing automation six. That is pretty solid. 1,250 per emerald ingot. 1,025 for sapphire and 800 for ruby ingots. Although ruby ingots take 50 ruby powder. So the production on those is gonna be pretty slow. Anyway, we can unlock. So we've unlocked. Excellent. And we're down to 58,000. We are poor again. But that will not be a problem because when I start plugging all the money making in again, it's going to be huge. And that just means I need to stop all of this production. So I'm going to X these belts going into the auto market. Oh, these were going into that one. I'm still going to stop them. Let them build up in these chests. I do have some turbo filters, so we can grab those. And I'll just make chests for those other items. But I'm going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to organize things. Let's stock build up because I have very few of the things that I'm going to need. I don't even have any silver rods left except what's in my inventory. But I got lots of silver ingots. Anyway, we'll, we'll get that stock built up and we'll still get a little bit of money coming in from the top. For now, I do need to increase stock of those items as well. Although I have quite a few. Yeah, I'm not too worried about these. Yeah, I'm looking good in these. So it's the silver and gold items that I, that I need to get sorted out. Especially the ones that I need for the Navigator 3. But before I go off, I just want to check some numbers. So the Auto Crusher, I go in here, select production. All right, so we've got the Ruby powder now. So it's one-to-one -one on all the powders. And it takes two seconds. That means we're going to need 100 seconds over in a minute, over a minute and a half for each ingot. Because we need 50 powder to make one ingot. It may be worth doubling up or even tripling up on mines and then also crushes. So I don't know, I have to see how that goes. I'm trying to do minimal amounts to get through this playthrough. But um, yeah, though it's, it, it could take a very, very long time. Just to confirm, I'll put a smelter in and go and see production ruby ingots. Um, yeah, it takes 10 seconds to craft. You need 50 of them. Same with the emerald, same with the sapphire. Uh, we're going to need a lot of those mines, I think. And I'm going to need to find space for the, for all of this. Luckily, the thing that you need the most of, which is the mines and crushes, are not very big. But they will still be difficult to fit in. Anyway, uh, like I said, I'm going to build up these stocks and I'll be right back. And I'm back. And you'll notice that a lot of this area has now been closed. And uh, probably have a few stacks of the things that I need. So I'll go and take those and stash them in boxes. Lots and lots of stuff. All right, uh, I think that's going to be enough to tide me over for quite a while. I need to start making money again, so I'm going to have to plug in some belts. But in this one, what I did was I made some Electrum ingots, and I'll show you. I've got a couple of hundred in a box near the market. And this little market at the bottom is not really going to be used anymore because... Let me go to the top and I'll show you why. Oh, and there's more stuff to empty out over here, so I'll do that while I'm up here. But I've put a couple more of these combinator machines up on the roof and these are going to handle the silver and gold products so if we have a look at the production the turbo filters and the gold pistons so that's what i'm going to do and i'm not going to store them because uh 
don't really need to store them right now i don't have a massive need for them i do have a need for the turbo filters but i have a few of them in stock so i'm not worried about that so let me uh let me sort this out before we go down and sort out other stuff and take these belts out check it what's in here oh good we've got a few things that should be good for quite a while and then i'm going to remove these storage boxes and we've got a pipe over here and i'm not sure what it's for oh, maybe i had something there before that i'm not using anymore let me go look downstairs oh right that's just going down to that uh, temporary combinator that i put up all right well we we can leave the pipe here it's not going to get in the way at the moment what i do want to do is take this down okay Okay, auto market, and I'm going to move that auto market to here, and we'll put it right, uh, let's bring this guy to this side. I don't suppose it matters much where I put it, or which direction I put it in. So, it's going to go there, and then what we'll do is we'll just start feeding belts in, but first I have to get belts up for these two, and I need to get the steam plugged in. And of course, it gets dark again. Oh, well, just... Huh suddenly green oh my gosh we've got an aurora that is so pretty very nice anyway so we'll just put a, a couple of lights down just to keep things showing up in the dark and that should be good all right the belts the belts are going to be a little tricky and i think maybe i need to build myself a little access down here although um yeah i do put that in there that's fine this will be i don't know this won't be a permanent solution maybe what the heck is it doing um i want to go up oh, my gosh all right let's put that there and see if i can get that to work there we go and then i can take that one out and then we're gonna have to put down another floor over here oh maybe not i'm gonna leave it like that for now at least i can get up and down so let's see what we're gonna do with this one first i'm thinking let's do the pistons over here now those pistons are 600 a piece and they need gold gears and silver rods. All right, so the silver rods are over here. And I'm going to have to see where this conveyor belt comes up. But hopefully it'll come up in a nice place. I suppose it's going to be coming up around around here. Let's see if I can do that. And then maybe leave a little bit of space for something else. Bring this around to about there. And then to there. And then plug in. All right, so that's one component. That's the, the rods. I still need the gold gears to come up here. So gold gears. That's this one. We'll grab that port. And then this one. Oh, it's steep. I hope it works. The other one's going to be pretty tight. All right. So like that. We'll bring it to there. And then just plug it straight in. All right. So are those, I hope they're the gold gears. I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> it's difficult to get things neat, honestly. All right, and then this one is going to be the turbo filters. That'll be the golden rods and the filters. So let's get the golden rods up first because they're the closest. All right, that's them. Grab that belt and we'll head to the top. And I'm just going to bring it straight up like that. It's, it's awful, but the devs have informed me that they are busy working on conveyor lifts. It's something that they do want in the game. So we'll wait and see what happens there. And then the last one is also going to be horrible. And I'm not even going to try and make it look good. Okay, filters. So, belt. Um, oh, this is just going to be bad. All right, I am not too concerned. One day when, when the game is more fleshed out, I will use uh, conveyor lifts. And this will be a whole lot neater. So, that's going straight in there. And now I just have to plug in the steam, I think. Come on, please bring it up. Yeah, they come. Good. All right, so I have enough capacity for another 20 steam on this side so that is gonna go in there and this one i'll bring to ground we'll go through underneath this machine auto save we'll go through under this machine turn it that way and up into there so that's gonna start making golden pistons yep everything's coming in and yep that's working so now i just have to oh hello this is not right let's take that out and move that light to there it's still clipping but it's in a better place and then conveyor belts from there into there and there to there these ones that in and this one in and we should start seeing the money tick up again there we go ah very nice okay that's gonna that's gonna keep everything busy for a while 
while I go downstairs and do other stuff. So let's head down to our research station. No, we don't need to go to the research station. We need to go to our upgrade station. And this is where we want to be. Of course. Okay, we need transdimensional compass. We need 10 of them to do the navigator. I don't see another use for them. So what I did was, and I can't auto craft them, so I handcrafted them. And here they are. Now I'm going to have to empty some stuff out. Oh, yes. Uh, sort inventory. There's this button now. So you can sort your inventory by pressing E, but it just moves everything up. I don't want that right now. I want to keep the space open so I can see how many slots I got. I do need to empty these pre precise pipeworks into the market. Or oh, actually, no. I'm going to put them into a chest because I actually do have chests for these things. There we go. And the precise gears I'm going to put away as well. I need that space right now. I'll come pick up some shortly because we're going to probably need some down the bottom anyway where were we so we need we need all 10 of these compasses these trans-dimensional compasses we also need sapphire ruby and electrum for what we're going to do so what it is that we're going to do firstly is make the navigator level three there it is craft right we've got that and then i think i have enough for the electrum pickaxe so i'm going to craft that and that sorts all of that out now i have these Electrum ingots left over, and I don't know of a use for them yet. They they may come in handy later, but I, I crafted them in that machine with just gold ingots and silver ingots. So Navigator level 3 can go into its slot, and I can take this iron pickaxe out and probably store it somewhere else, and I will put this one into slot 4. I'm not even sure that I need the the axe and the mace anymore because the battle axe is so much better. I'll just put the pickaxe away and we'll see what we can do with that uh, with that really strong one. So before I do anything, before I pick up materials, I'm going to head down and we can do some testing. And I think I made the decision now that I'm going to do the gem stuff downstairs. All right, so we are down in the gem area. I have gems. Is this full? Oh, it's almost full. Now, I don't see any other use for them right now except to sell them and they're not worth a heck of a lot so if we go in here we can hover over that and see that you only get 175 but you know it's 175 we never had before so i think maybe i'll put that into an auto market down here but the main thing i am doing here is i'm looking for emerald we have ruby and sapphire over here emerald is on our target list so if i head over to the navigator this is the new navigator and oh there there was uh, an arrow what is this supposed to mean all right let me select the resource we want that you know what this is this isn't helping because i was pretty sure that it was supposed to be over this way oh i've got to click to highlight the resource have i click this is i see these things but now they they're picking up what are they picking up because it's is this thing the wrong way around Okay, so this, this picks up all of these and it shows them. Now, if I want to find the ore deposit, it's not taking... Uh, okay, those things are gone now. So where's this deposit? Am I missing something? Is there something I'm not seeing? I see... Oh, it was showing something there for a moment and it's showing stuff here. But as soon as I get close, it disappears. The heck? Okay, well, this is definitely not helping me. The level two was better. Wait, there's something down there. No, that's not it. Ah, well, no way. Not helping at all. But I think it was in this direction. I have to go get myself another level two. I don't understand why. what I'm doing with this pickaxe. Got some sapphire in the cave. All right, I have no idea if I'm going in the right direction or not. But I think I'm going to blow up if I've got the material on me. I don't. I need silver power and... Silver powder and sapphire. Or I am not seeing any indication that there's emerald in this direction and according to the level two navigator this was the one closest it showed this direction i am totally stumped and i'm not entirely sure what this pickaxe does if it does anything better than anything else all right well there's an opening here anything in this area oh there's some big guys i wonder if i should take the chance should i go and pick a fight uh let's get the battle axe sorted out it would be nice if they would attack me one at a time maybe i'll remember to block this time as well these are pretty big eyes oh boy and they run fast
Come on. I got them. All right, good. Good, I've taken everything from them. Yeah, they're just normal orc skulls. Pity. Are there any more guys around? Doesn't look like it. Okay, where the heck did I come from? All right, so I came from here. So let me put a light down to mark this entrance. And we'll get that navigator out and see if this delivers any results. Nah, I'm seeing nothing. Do you have to have line of sight with this thing? Nah, I think I need to go back and get the level two. This is... I, I, maybe I'm using it wrong, I don't know. But I just want to find emerald. Yeah, put one of these down here and then I'm going to walk down this passage and see what I can find. We are at 120 meters below, so must be close to the lava. And get my battle axe ready just in case. Oh, I should maybe just have something to eat, get my health back up. Yeah, I have no idea. If I go to my compass, my beacon compass, and select the, where was it, the gold and silver. Yeah, it's all the way back there. I'll go a little bit further. I haven't found anyone to fight yet. Still haven't found anyone to fight. And I've come up against a little bit of a dead end. I could go up there, but now I'm going to head back. But I did see a tunnel off to the side somewhere over here. Yes. All right, well, let me put a torch down. I lost one, so put that over there. And then I'll head this way. Got a little idiot over here. Got him. Oh, there's another one. Oh, no, that's the one I just kicked over here. Okay, so there's a tunnel that goes that way. And that will lead us maybe back to our base. I don't know. Oh, my gosh, that dude is huge. All right, I have selected my weapon. Uh, oh, hello. All right, I can use the block. Hey, the block doesn't... Oh my gosh. One hit. My word, that was insane. And I, I even had the block up. So these people telling me use the block? Well, it doesn't work against those huge ones. Well, let's fast travel back to my base. You know what? I will not go lightly, but I do need another one of those uh, Navigator 2 things. To see, remind myself what I needed for it. Ruby ore, copper, cogs, navigator level one. Oh my word, I need to make a navigator level one. Ruby and ingot. Can I make that? I need to get some ruby gems and I have the iron ingots. Do I have ruby gems? I do not. Oh, I'm a, oh well. Anyway, I'm not going to take that lightly. I'm going back down to sort out that whatever the heck it was. It was really big and I think I need to get it because I saw other skulls lying on the ground. And I should probably have made myself some more torches while I was there. So back through and this time I'm not going to block. I'm going to just swing and back off and hope that it works. But it was pretty far away. <laughs> little bugger jumped out right in front of me. Oh wow, I'm all the way back at my base. Wait, I missed a turn somewhere. Unless, yeah, I think I needed to go down this one. I took the, the wrong fork in the road. And I'm going to go slowly to make sure that my stamina is up. Ah, here we go. So, somewhere down in this direction. I was sort of heading back to my base. Uh, let's see, is he up here? There he is. Oh my gosh, how the heck do you beat this guy? That was one hit. I don't even know if I did any damage. Good lord. Ooh, I found something else while wandering around. Probably going to be dudes around here, right? There they come. Okay, they no problem. Oh, I hear a big one. Oh, they seem angry. They're chopping each other. I uh, let them do their thing. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, ow, ow. That did hurt just a little bit. Let's see what we can find around here. Any more? So far, so good. Good. And nice stuff in the chest. More good stuff in that chest. Any more chests? Okay, well, this is cleared out. Nothing else spectacular around here. This will take me back to my my silver and gold spot, which is in that direction. Let's see. There it is. Okay. Yeah, let me go back there and take the route that I know. Only reason I got there was because I fell down somewhere and couldn't get back up. Okay, this is also going to be a little bit tricky. Let's see. Oh, wow. I really can't get back. Oh, there. There's the gap. So before I head down, let's make myself healthy again. Get myself armed. I mean, I don't have to do it right away because it isn't close. Ooh, not there. I will put another light in to guide my way. 
it'll just give me a reminder of where I need to go. Okay, that is right. And then I can head out this way and make sure that I take the correct fork in the road. Nothing over there. Okay, so that way is wrong. This way is right. So we'll put this down over there. I hope I've at least been doing some damage to that guy. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put down... Hang on, do I have the stuff to put down a couple of guns? I don't know. But uh, there is a... There's an achievement for taking one of those down, so... And you don't get it if the guns take it down. Oh, it's a long way. These tunnels are pretty long. Aha, uh -huh. here's the entrance to this spot. And it's still a little bit further along. And then it was... Oh my gosh, he's already here. He knew I was coming. Where is he? Oh, oh. No, this is just a regular orc. Okay, so there's my spot. Maybe put another beacon down. <gasps> my gosh, he's, he's right there. Okay, I need to get healthy. Okay, so this dude is hanging out here on a rock. Wonder. He's not moving. Um maybe I can soften soften him up a bit with a little bit of one of these. Oh my word. He got me. Ah, darn it. All the way back down there again. Good grief, it's a long way. And my gun's probably taken him by now anyway. All right, the dude is still there and he's maybe not still alive because my gun, I think, just did something. Oh, wow, look at that health. I'm going to need more guns. I think I'll just wait for him to get hurt enough and then I'll swoop in and maybe take the final blow. Ah, I didn't get the final blow. Bugger. All right, well... I don't think I got the final blow. Anyway, thank you, little chaps. And I shall carry you with me. Okay, so he came from here. Is There's not another one, is there? But I will put down a couple of torches. Oh, gosh, man. Um, Yeah, nothing further on. So let me chop these because I've been told you can collect these. All right. And now I believe that I actually have enough to do whatever that upgrade was. I wonder what was under here. Hmm. Is, that's just an orc skull. A regular one. I'll take it anyway. Seems like there's more than one here. Let's see if I can. All right. Got a few. And I still haven't run into one emerald deposit after all this running around. And the only benefit to dying from that dude was actually the fast travel back to the top. Oh man, he was a big guy. I'd have to, I'd have to hit him 10 times with the battle axe just to take him down and he can take me down with one shot anyway i'm gonna head back there's more of these guys they're all over the place all right i am back over here and everything is still working by the looks of things i'm gonna grab a few items that i can these are full i'm wasting now because they should be selling but ah the money is going up i don't think i have a problem and i don't need the 10 million for a while i don't think Okay, now I'm not sure if there's a problem with this because I... Okay, that's the problem. It's showing it as a black outline. So I've, I've clicked on the ruby and I can see it. There it is. But it's showing it with a black outline and it only shows it for a short while. Okay. So maybe that's what I'm missing. Let me head back in this area and see if I can pick up anything with the emerald, which I thought was somewhere over this way. All right, we'll change to... Or deposit. All right, so I'm in an area like this. Do I see anything, anything this way or that way? Yeah, that the black outline does make it a bit difficult to see, especially in dark places like this. So there's nothing that way, nothing that way. Anything above us? Nothing below. Yeah, I'm not sure how far away this this deposit is, but the darkness makes it even more difficult to find. Having a bit of trouble with this. It doesn't give a direction. Yeah, you almost need a combination between the level 2 and the level 3. Just to sort of point you in the right direction and then highlight it. Because I was told that it is in this direction, but I am not seeing it anywhere. Okay, yeah, I do need to get the, the level 2 back. All right, well, let me go and get my spoils into containers. Uh, Orc Skull. Yeah, I got 4. Oh, actually, you know what that means? Okay, let me empty stuff out of here because I got a bit too much. Oh, I did collect a lot of gold, though. Interesting. I wasn't paying attention to my, how much gold I was picking up. Anyway, let's go and deposit it. There we go. All deposited. I will get 
the level one navigator and then I will try and get the level two navigator. What am I missing? Just the ruby ore. I have plenty of that. So let's get that in and then I'll have two of them. So what I may do is take the shovel out because I don't really use it that much and take these out. I'll have the level two first and then the level three and then the wall torches and then the compass and that should be good. I'll go and put that shovel away because I don't need it. And we'll drop the mana off. I just dropped the stamina off, sorry. I need to I need to actually make some mana at some point. But we can grab the orc skulls and the large orc skulls. And we can head over to this chap because he will give us something. And it's under combat. And there it is. I needed 15 and 5. I've got that. So complete that. And that's just given me gems. Okay, well... Thanks. And the next one I need is 150 and 50. Oh, wow. That's going to take a little while. And this one I've already done 75 out of the 10 that I need. So I can complete that. I've got a few rewards that I can lock down here still at some point. Not in a big rush for them. But here's something. Uh, I can get 5,000 plus a whole bunch of gems and stuff, which strangely I need over here. But I just need to acquire 1,000 Electrum. Well, eventually I'll get there. Not Doesn't seem really important right now. I mean, I'm making money. I'm back up over 600,000. Our money-making machines up top are doing their job pretty well. Yep, these guys are just feeding into this auto market. It's good to see. Uh, I think we've, we've made good progress in this episode. I will continue downstairs. We are going to be making some ruby, sapphire, and emerald ingots as soon as I find some emeralds. But I have made a pretty good a pretty big room down there so i've got space that i can grow it i'll just have to take all the materials down there's going to be a fair bit of building it would be nice if we had a like four by four uh stone roof kind of thing like this instead of doing just one put four down at a time like the foundations that would be really really nice because i will want to do things underneath and i really do want to get to the ale farming i know i've been saying it for like four episodes or five episodes or something but uh, i do want to get to it and i'm sure i will eventually but if you like this video give us a like if you want to see more subscribe hit the bell icon for notifications leave me your comments let me know if you've got any tips um especially tips on how to beat those big boss jobs or those ogres or whatever they are because yeah they are pretty tough 750 hit points i was even backing off taking a shot blocking nothing helped until I use my little turrets and they helped. In the next episodes, we'll continue. We'll continue making good money because, because our next automation unlock is at 10 million. Which means I'm probably going to be going up above this for the floor just for gold coin. It's going to be big. So thank you for joining me. And until next time, cheers.